So in this video, we're going to look at adding ink traps using corner components in Glyphs app. Similar to the last video where we, um, we added serifs using corner components, this time we're going to use those corner components to add ink traps. Now there's a little bit of a different way to set up the shapes within, um, within your corner component in Glyph, but I'll show you how to do that. So let's get into it. Here we are in glyphs. I've already set up three letters that we're going to use for adding those internal corner components onto. Um, and we'll start by adding a corner component. So that's underscore corner dot ink. The dot ink is just the thing that I'm calling it. You've got to have the um, underscore corner in, in order for glyphs to know that that's a corner component. So let's open that up and alongside that we'll have the H. So with this technique we're going to we're going to use the left hand side bearing and the baseline for the corner. So we're going to imagine that this and this is the corner. And what glyphs will do is then just assume that that is where uh, the corners will sit. Let's make our shape. I'm going to make a just a fairly simple um, ink trap, just like that. So this is the scale of this is relative to to this here. So let's just scale this down. We're going to make sure that it's all lined up. And then let's go to the H and using these black dots, the ones that come up here, we're going to select that, right click, add corner component, drop in that corner component there and there you go. So let's do that to each internal node there. And those are our corner components. Now you can see that I've not quite got this lined up, it's not very easy to do to line it up um, in this kind of setup, um, but you, you just you just fiddle about with it, you'll get it. Um, let's apply this to the E and the N now. Select all those internal nodes there, and add our ink trap, and then do the same with the N. So because we've got this corner component here set to the left, it's kind of wanting to follow that that uh, line. So what we're going to do is just set those to the center. Now these are a little bit slim. So what I like to do is just give these a bit more um, make these just a little bit bigger. So I'm not too happy with this shape. So for the ends, I'd probably make a new shape and use that internally, potentially. But for now, that's all right. So another cool thing that we can do with this is we can actually use this corner component as an external corner component. And it's not just for internals. And we can make something that looks like a metal font. There you go. So again, because we've got all these corner components set, we could um, we could then just go back into that original corner component and change that, manipulate that a little bit just to add some different interest into it. We could soften it off, make it slightly bigger. Or you can make it even more complex if you like. Obviously there are limits because things will start to, to overlap but um, you can see how it's relatively easy to make 
really interesting shapes and additions to um, to a standard sort of sans serif font that you've already made and, uh, and make it far more interesting. So I've actually just finished a typeface with some um, stylistic uh, ink traps. They're definitely there more for decoration rather than rather than functionality in terms of printing. Um, and this is it. This is this is turnkey. It's a, a type in progress at the moment, but it is a fully working font, but only available in standard and semi bold for the moment. I'm working on the extra weights and eventually I'll have um, or I'm hoping to have uh, a variable font version of it as well so yeah this is it so you can see that there's uh, there's some good ink traps built into this and uh, it's kind of being used as a, a nice design feature so yeah go check that out and check out the other fonts that I've got online as well thanks for watching I hope this has been really helpful and if it has, why not let me know in the comments below? Um, I suppose all that's left to say now is don't forget to go check out Turnkey. Uh, the link's in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.